All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Josh Reeves here with you. It is Tuesday, August the 9th, 2016. Thank you for joining us here for another episode of the show. I have not uh, had time to do any updates. Most of you probably know by now. If you don't, my new film, The Spellcasters, has been released. It is done. It is out. It's been out since... uh, Thursday night, Friday night, something like that. Three or four days now. And, uh, yeah, so it's it's out there. It's in the download shop now. We had some issues when it first went up. We sent out, uh, you know, mass emails to everybody who pre-ordered and got stuff from uh, contribution deals, things like that. So we, we sent those out. So the first night we had a lot of issues. Those have all since been resolved and everything's working smoothly now. I had to change the file size. I put up, it, some people it worked and other people it didn't. And the original one that I put up, the first encode I put up, you know, I was just, I wasn't really thinking when I first put the thing up, honestly, it was just, uh, you know, get it up, get it out. And um, so I've since went back and changed the encode, made it a little bit uh, smaller, but still, Full HD quality, really good quality. And there's also a uh, SD standard definition version available now as well up there. And they're both in the download shop. Some people have been going to the uh, pre-order thing and getting uh, their downloads that way where you can pre-order the download. That, um, you know, that works. It's fine. It's just, it's not instantaneous. So if you don't get the link back, that's why. And if you... uh, we're supposed to get a link, a download link for a contribution or a pre-order or something. And you didn't get that. Number one thing you need to do is check your spam folder. Um, I suspect there's a lot of people that got links that don't know they got links. Um, the, I mean, immediately when it went up. So there might be some of you out there that are listening to this going, where the fuck's my link? I didn't get it. Um, just check your spam folder for something from payloads. I know it sounds like a fucking porn site name. I'm aware, but it's not, I didn't name the damn thing. Uh, it does sound like a, pay, a, a, a porn pay site though. I can imagine somebody's wife or something seeing that, seeing that on a receipt and going, honey, uh, what is this? Uh, $15 from payloads with a Z. <laughs> Whose loads are you paying for, honey? Yeah, I could imagine seeing that happen. Go go both ways, male, female on that. You know what I mean? You could see the wife going, hunt, you know. Honey, whose loads are you paying for? Is it a man load or a female load? I I don't know. (laughs) You could be asking your wife or girlfriend that too. Uh, Honey, uh, you know, I got plenty of loads. I mean, you don't have to pay for them. What's this? I mean, I could, I could just see somebody having to try to explain <laughs> that. But regardless, look in your uh, spam folder from payloads.com. And if you don't, if you didn't get it or you don't get it um, and you feel you should have gotten it, then just email me and uh, I'll check my records and send you one right over. No problem. But uh, it is out there. Two hours, 45 minutes of Spellcasters. Press releases went out yesterday to media outlets, some media outlets, smaller ones and whatnot. Um, different, you know, ABC, NBC, Fox, and whatever affiliate. Some of you picked it up, but it's funny because I, you know, you can take the the article headline and or the the press release headline and do a search. And yesterday and and all last night, you know, I kept doing the search to see what other places it was popping up on. It popped up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It popped up in uh, New Orleans. Picked it up. Uh, Pittsburgh picked it up. New Jersey tri-state area picked it up. Um, Kansas, Kansas City area, um, Missouri, Ohio, Florida. Some here in Texas, none locally where I live, but a little, not too far. Wichita Falls, they uh, they picked it up. Um, now there was there was there was a few, but uh, my point is when I went and did a search, now a lot of the ones that were popping up are not even showing up. It's like psh, that quick. That shit's that. Oh, so I, I, I really, you know, really do feel like they are scrubbing, already scrubbing the uh, press release 
from the uh, from the internet already. So, and and this is you know of course this is by far my most important work, and it is it, it it's the it's the best thing I've ever done. I mean, uh, the people that have watched it so far, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh man people are freaking out it's fucking great people are freaking out i mean there's people who've already watched it three or four times literally i've already talked to people i've watched it three times in a row that's fucking great man uh, that's uh you know that's one of the reasons why i do it right there but we've got to get this thing out to people i mean we our goal we wanted to sell a hundred copies in the first 48 hours and extend that. We, we did not reach that goal. Um, we've sold uh, uh, about 60, 58 or so at this point. And we, we need to sell a lot more. I mean, I, I, I can't, uh, otherwise, you know, I, I mean, this is not hyperbole or, or, you know, it's just the honest truth. We've got to, we've got to get this film out to a lot of people because, um, with what it took to make this film and what went into it and the time and the man hours and the money and everything, we've got to at least recoup back what it took to make it. Um, otherwise I, I don't know if I'm going to make another one after this. That's just, it's a sad reality. I mean, I don't want it to be my last film. I want to keep, I've got so many more films in the making, but the problem is, is that, uh, you know, there aren't enough outlets and avenues. Believe me, I've tried. I mean, the press release thing, you know, I had to pay for that, but stuff like that, sometimes that's what you got to do. Everything's pay to play now. It doesn't matter what industry you're in. Um, music industry has been that way forever. It's the way that it's that way now more than it has ever been. But all, but when you get right down to it, no matter what, because I, I do a lot of stuff in a lot of different industries, from the music industry to movies, radio, gem and mineral stuff that I do, you know, whatever it may be. And in every situation, even like the gem and mineral world, it, it, I mean, even shit like that, and everything's pay to play now. You know, the, se the success that you have with something is largely based these days on how much money you have to put behind it. And unfortunately, we barely even make enough to even make one film and we barely and we don't even really have any money left to even promote it or try to get it out there once it is done that's the big problem and that's where we need all of your help by like calling radio stations you know shows sending the link the press release especially you know, there we, there's several of them with different copies up on our facebook pages right now so you can go easily find one of those um or you can just enter this headline into the search engine new film exposes black magic and CIA mind control connections to Scientology, Hollywood and more boy. <laughs> That's from WVUE in new Orleans. Well, the headline like that, <coughs> excuse me with a headline, <laughs> you know, with a headline like that, it's not hard to see why they're uh, trying to scrub the thing. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's, it, it really is, um, is just fascinating to, to see just people's reactions. You know, I've worked on this thing and, and I've been living with it. And I mean, the thing was cut and recut and, um, so many different times that I had to rewrite the thing more times that that's that's really the crowning achievement of this movie that you don't really, um, I don't know. You don't really comprehend it. You, you're, when you're watching a movie, you're not thinking about the writing. You're not, you're thinking about what's, what you're visually seeing and taking in. So, but, um, the largest chore for me for any film, but really, especially with this one is the writing because the, the writing is the basis for the whole thing. That's the foundation. The whole movie is based around the writing. And, um, I really, this time, since my last film I put out, 
Lost Secrets of Ancient America Volume Two in, in 2014. Since then, this is kind of one of the one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why there was such a delay between films. One of the things I did is I really studied um, something I never really had time to do or took the time to do was really study the the whole craft of making movies. And I'm somebody who's you know I'm I'm an insane movie buff as it is. I've seen fucking films a lot of people have never heard of. Uh, but I, you know, I, I really studied the craft this time. So the, I really focused on the writing and, um, the sequencing of the information. And I really focused on, uh, because, you know, when these things are about information, sometimes that's all I've really wanted my films to be is that I wanted them to just really focus on the information and that to be what's paid attention to. But you also have to realize that everybody who's seen any TV show or any movie in their life becomes accustomed to sometimes become a piece. Some people are accustomed to seeing things presented a certain way. So that's one of the things I did. I tried to incorporate things um, in this movie that other successful movies and successful storytellers have utilized uh, to, to get the point across. And I did that with this film for the first time. And I think that um, me doing that really comes through and really shines through and shows when you watch this movie. Um, it's really the first, what I would consider a legitimate documentary for all my other films have been great and they've been good and they serve their purpose. And, you know, they were what they were for the time in which they were made and they came out. A lot of them were made on shit computers with shit software. Uh, this is really the first film. That's why I did the press release and all that stuff. And that's why I'm trying to get this film to reach as many as po people as possible. I'm going to try to attempt to get it in some uh, uh, film festivals and stuff like that too. And all that stuff requires money. But I, this is the first film I feel confident enough about to be able to do those things in. You know, I'm confident enough in all the information and the research and the way it's presented enough to uh, where I really feel like this thing uh, could get out there and reach a large number of people. And again, that's, that's you know, that's where we got to have you guys help. So keep spreading the word and keep... Uh, <coughs> getting people to buy downloads. We will we'll have uh, DVDs and Blu-rays will be coming. If you've pre-ordered those and whatnot, you've got to be patient. Um, to the movie, you know, it's only been out like four days. It, we're looking at least six weeks. Um, probably at least six weeks before the discs are in my hand and then they'll go after after that. We don't have cover artwork or anything or any of that stuff gonna, uh, even done yet. That's going to take at least a couple weeks alone. Then once I get that, and we could ship them off and have them uh, manufactured. They'll take two or three weeks after two or three, four weeks, maybe a month after that, and then we'll get them back and start shipping them out. So be so, just be patient on those. And in the meantime, you can uh, you can watch the download before we get you get the discs in your hand. Um, you know, a lot a lot of people probably thinking that since the movie's done, oh, he'll just be back to doing you know three hour shows, five days a week or something. That's um, unfortunately, that's just not going to happen right now, at least not immediately. Um, as I said, just because the film's done, my work is not done at all. In fact, my work has just begun. I mean, there's more work to do now than there was when I was just working on the film way more. Um, now again, we got to get it out there. Got to promote it. I've got two interviews booked already coming up on Friday. Um, I don't think any either either one of these are live shows, so there's no information for me to give you on those yet. Uh, I'll tell you about the shows and what they are and whatnot once uh, once I do them. But I'm doing two interviews on Friday. Uh, they're not neither one of these shows I've ever been on, and uh, I think it's going to be good. I'm excited about it. Uh, really, I'm excited about any show that I do where. You know, where the person that you're talking to and the person that's interviewing you, I know this. you would think this would just be common and accepted thing, and I'll tell you from my experience doing shows, it's not. 
it's just nice to do shows with somebody who actually gives a shit about what you what you're talking about and is actually goes you know takes the time to watch the movie. Uh, one of the guys I'm doing it with on Friday, you know, I'll, when I do an interview or something with somebody, I I'll, I send them, you know, a, a review copy or whatever. So I'd offered to send him a review copy, and and uh, his reply was, "Oh, I don't need it. I already bought it and downloaded it and watched it." That's uh, that's rare. I mean, it really is. And a lot, you got to understand, a lot of these people that that host these radio shows, they're not like me or this guy or whoever else. A lot of these guys are just it ain't nothing but a job to them. I mean, the the doing the show and doing this is secondary to to me. You know what I mean? That's not. I'm a researcher. I'm doing this because I want to know the truth. And when I find truths that are too big to keep to myself, that's what this is for. So. It really, I it's it, it, you would you would think that bare minimum if, if someone asked you to be a guest on the show, at minimum. But literally, I've done some big shows where I I mean, there's nothing more frustrating than go, trying to talk and be interviewed on a show for two hours, especially a big talk show like Coast to Coast AM or something. And the guest hasn't even watched the movie; he doesn't know anything about what you're talking about. I mean, you you. He asks you a question, you go to answer it, and before you can even answer it, he's answer, asking you another question, confused, because he has a reference point for what you're saying and doesn't know how to respond to it because he didn't watch the goddamn movie, even though you sent him a free copy. Uh, so, you know, I, that, that's the thing I'm, I, I, that I'm uh, excited about. Are, are these shows I'm going on the biggest shows out there? No. No, but who cares? They have an audience just as much as anybody does, whether it's large or small or, or anything else. Um, I would much rather go on a smaller show with somebody who has at least watched and, and checked out the information and can have a dialogue about it than to go on a show that reaches millions of people with a fucking host for two or three hours who didn't even pay you enough respect to take two hours out of his goddamn day to watch the movie enough to even have some questions to talk about for the interview. I mean, people like that have no fucking business being on radio shows, much less national radio shows. So, I uh, again, I'm booking shows right now. You want to have me on? Send me an email, globalrealityshow@gmail.com. Let's get the word out. Let's do this. Um, also, Donnie Arcade's album, Dropped on Sunday. Go get a copy of that. We Are Not Alone. That's the new album. It features me on two tracks. One of which we feature at the end of uh, the Spellcasters movie. I think the first thousand people get some kind of big prize pack. And I think you get in a drawing to get a trip or something. Anyway, go get a copy of that album. Support their work. They want to sell something like 400 copies or something. 485 copies in the first week. If they do that, it'll crack the Billboard Hot 100 or, or one of those things. Anything good happens for them, good happens for us. If they sell four hundred something copies and that thing gets in the, uh, you know, in the Billboard chart, that's going to be good for me and my work and everything else is going to get us out there to more people, and uh, it's going to enable them to be able to help do what we're doing here, especially with stuff like we're, what we got playing for this uh, Anunnaki documentary that I've got planned to come out next year. I'm going to be working with uh, Pantheon Elite Records, Billy Carson, and uh, and the rest of the crew there on some various things on that film. We want to have Billy Carson in the film, and as well as um, you know, get to do, collaborate on some music and soundtrack stuff with them, and do a soundtrack release on their label. So yeah, please support uh, Donny Arcade and his album. And thanks to those guys again for having me on. The video's out now, too, for the song False Flag. And if you hadn't seen that yet, I'll put a link to it here in the video of the YouTube thing. Um, another thing, too, is I've been uploading a lot of shows to YouTube. Once I'm back to doing the regular schedule of shows, we'll only upload maybe one or two shows at the most a week to YouTube. 
The rest will be in our archive memberships, which you'll have to get a membership for at my website, theglobalreality.com. Just hit the subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page. You can get a thing there. But we also have a lot of packages for contributions and whatnot, um, donations, where you, you, know, you donate 100 bucks or whatever, a certain amount, where you can get a, a, a uh, archive deal. It's going to be way better than what you just get buying one individually. So consider that. And uh, that brings me to the next topic of discussion. We, uh, I have to be out of my current studio living quarters by the end of this month. Um, and uh, it takes a lot of money to be able to do all this. And um, we have a fundraiser going on right now, the uh, Global Reality Broadcast Studio Fundraiser. You'll find the link in this uh, video audio as well. Um, please help us reach our goal for this, folks. We uh, we have to raise enough money to have deposits and uh, all that stuff here in the next couple of weeks. Otherwise, uh, well, frankly, not only is the show going to be over and, and my work be over, but um, I'm going to be out of my ass with nowhere to go and nowhere to live. That's just the way it is. Um, so that's why all this is vitally important right now that you help us get this film out and also support our broadcast studio. We are planning on taking this, you know, not just taking this where we can keep it going like we are now, but to uh, take this to a complete new level. Something I've been planning for a long time, something I've already, already have a lot of the gear and material and stuff to already do. But um, I'm going to really start to initiate phase two of my operation. The phase one has kind of been the last nine years. Next year is going to be 10 years. Uh, will be nine year anniversary will be next month in September. And then following year will be 10 years. And over the next year, I have a, a new plan of attack and a new plan that's going to uh, take everything that we've done here to a completely unforeseen and never done before level. I've got something planned in the works so that I'm going to initiate over the next year that, that no one's ever done in the realm scope of this type of thing with this type of information and research. But right now we need to get a new living quarter space. If you, you know, if you're in the Dallas area and you live in Dallas and I know, I think somebody contacted me a couple of months ago. They were here locally from Arlington, maybe. So they were in real estate. Um, you know, shoot me an email. Um, anybody out there lives in the area and you guys know somebody that, you know, rent stuff. See, I don't like to go through the fucking corporate bullshit. All the places that I have have all been, you know, non-corporate entities and whatnot so that we can have a, you know, a space to broadcast and, and do all that. Nobody wants to do anything like this out of an apartment, especially on the level we're doing it on. And I haven't, I haven't lived in an apartment in fucking over 20 years. So, but, uh, you know, things happen, life happens. And, and the situation has, uh, arisen where we're now losing our current place. So, uh, please go and support our goal reality studio broadcast fundraiser. Help us reach our goal. We have a lot of great perks in there. Check all those perks. One of which is, um, I think for the biggest amount, you get a whole bunch of stuff in the prize pack, but you also get uh, one on one FaceTime and one on one audio time, whatever you want with me on Skype. A lot of people request that. I don't have time to do it. So I'm offering it up as a prize so that we can get a new, uh, a new place to put all this uh, so we can keep going. And I'm, I'm starting to get nervous. I've been okay uh, up to this point, but, um, Fact of the matter is, we're just out of time, and I got to get something lined up. I can't wait till the end of the month trying to line something up because, I mean, I have nowhere to go, folks. I don't have anybody, you know. My dad passed away a few years ago, and um, you know, he was kind of my go-to guy if I needed somebody. And since you know he passed away, my uncle passed away the week before. You know, I I just don't really have anybody I can, uh, you know, rely on or anything anymore. I'm I mean, I'm really up. Uh, shit creek here and and considering this all this work that i've done really just released this film couldn't have come at a worse time so um you know we just need all of your help out there everybody contribute you can go to my website the banner for the uh 
studio fundraiser is underneath the regular banner for our monthly goal, which we also have to reach. So please go there and make a contribution and continue to spread the word about the spellcasters. And uh, we'll talk again real soon, folks. Thanks so much. Take care.